Sunday, so you know what that means. You gotta turn up those 90s radio bangers and pretend they're not about doing crystal meth and blowjobs. Get that day started right. Brunch with Chef Hall, episode two, the East Asian Southern Surprise. The following program contains nudity, violence, coarse language, taking of illicit substances, dangerous stunts, and etc. No animals were harmed during the making of this program. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. As always, please brunch irresponsibly. Your host again, Chef Hall here, episode two. We're gonna do a little bit of something Eastern Asian inspired to the spice content, I suppose. Trying to get a little more healthy than yesterday. We are gonna pump down a pound of bacon here into this too. So, I mean, that's that, but we're gonna get all this stuff diced up here eventually. But first things first here, we're gonna take this thing and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here. Cause like, you don't have some greasy old fucking can of bacon grease sitting on your counter there in the windowsill for, you know, a couple weeks by the time you, you know, you try to fill it all up. And this is what that's gonna look like. You gotta get that lip of the tin foil up around the baking sheet so that the bacon grease does not leak over the sides. If you don't fuck this up, you know, all you gotta do is pretty much just rinse this off and you don't have to deal with any bacon grease there stuck to your pan and you're just spending your Sunday just dumping fucking elbow grease into this thing trying to get it clean. Remember from yesterday's episode, the old Canadian scram bambler there, you know, a lot of calorie intake on that one, not super healthy. You know, there's a couple fresh red pepper, grape tomatoes on there, but you know, today basically we're changing the script here. Trying to get some good spices in there, good vitamins, you know, good food, you know, so you are what you eat. So you come in and you come in strong to Monday and you don't have, you know, some greasy old fucking meal from Saturday that some fucking jabroni on the internet made up and said it was a good idea. First feature of the day, we have an Angry Orchard hard cider, crisp apple flavored. This is coming out of the way of Cincinnati, Ohio. Crisp apples harvested off of angry trees Give it its unique taste. It also has this great best before date on here, so you know that you won't get Ebola or E. coli from fired product. That's great. Well, this one expires in July 2022, and I know that for sure it won't make it that long. So the feature of this dish is gonna be kind of contrary to a lot of people's beliefs about brunch. Bunch of curry, pepper, salt into this broccoli thing with a bunch of olive oil, and then we're gonna steam that up, and uh, it's gonna be really good. I've actually never used curry for this. Usually like a turmeric paste, kind of, you know, keep it nutty, keep it earthy, keep it health food story. Every day, you gotta try stuff new, so you know, you just kind of keep on growing, right? Well, everything's really starting to come together. The timing's all been kind of right on spot on here today, you know, everything's just kind of making a move. You know, we got this uh, delicious uh, steaming kind of stuff going on here. I really have a good feeling about this one, you know, curry and breakfast and all that, you know, might have some reservations, but uh, I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. Well, if you're seeing this, you know what time it is. Gotta get these onions going here. And uh, once these goggles come out, feature two comes out as well. Second feature of the day, we have another treasure from White Tooth Brewing Company. Thread the needle, wheat beer. This beer is fucking delicious. If you've never had it, you should go out and get some right now. They incorporate spices such as coriander, Szechuan pepper, and lemongrass to get you moving in your day. You know what? I don't know about you, but I wanna thread the needle of this beer right down my fucking esophagus right now. Jail rules today, son. Mmm, <sighs> the coriander really, you know, helps you not vomit that up as it's going down your esophagus, you know, at an incredible pace. Just like this river rapid here in the sky. Back in 02 there, when I was uh, touring through Tibet there, this monk told me that mushrooms and onions combined into a pan and sauteed together actually create this perfect equation to improve performance in basically any aspect of your life, okay? So, you know, like sexual performance, creative performance, high performance. Basically, it's the fucking be all end all of, you know, elixirs for performance. You know, it's the beauty about the internet. You just kind of fucking make things up on the spot and people think it's true. Come in here and discuss a cause that's really close and near and dear to my heart. Let's make sure we're doing our part out there. Being only eggs from hens roaming free in open concept barns. We can tell not only the chickens that we care, but our friends while we eat the chickens' babies. The eggs are just about done now, so uh, we're just gonna start plating this food and this is gonna be an experiment, but hopefully it tastes pretty good. Start with a bed of onions and mushrooms. Add the broccoli on top. Then a little bit of avocado. Two soft to medium fried eggs. Whole load of cheese there, shredded. A little bit more bacon, just for fun. And then we'll top it all off with uh, diced up baby tomatoes. And of course, one more thread the needle wheat beer. Get your Sunday started right. Well, despite my initial reservations about what curry would do to this dish, it turned out excellent, all right? So, hope you enjoy. 
Maybe you'll get to try this dish one day. Uh, if you talk to my booking agent there, maybe you can get a catered meal delivered to your door, but it'll cost you. So give it a try. If you need the recipe, you know, just ask. You know, I, I know we don't really have the budget to show a lot of the cooking on the cooking show here that's been created here. And our sponsors are mostly beer brands. We get a broccoli plant there, or, you know, a couple of the hens from the old open concept free roam barn there to give us a shout out or give us a sponsor. Maybe we can up the production on the, the actual cooking portion of the show. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the third feature of the day. Bailey's, the original. Still got some left over from yesterday. Given that I'm not a degenerate alcoholic, you just get this Bailey's in here, have a cup of coffee, and then kind of go about your day. Try to get a lot done, you know, make a difference out there. All right, this is the end of uh, episode two.